Hey, so this is a video on how to take limits using power series. Uh, so this video I'm going to do two simple examples and I'll do another video later on with an even tougher example. So the first one we're going to do is the limit as x goes to 0 of sine x over x. Yes, I know what you're thinking. You can use L'Hopital's rule to do this. That is correct, you can. But the point is, we want to do it using power series. Uh, so, we know already from high school or whatnot that this should be equal to 1. Right? Uh, or you can just use L'Hopital's rule, you can prove it and whatnot, and get that the value is 1. So how would you do this using power series? Well, we know that sine x the Maclaurin series for it is n equals 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the n, x to the 2n plus 1, over 2n plus 1 factorial. Right, and if you want to write this out in expanded form, which will help us, it's going to be x minus x cubed over 3 factorial, uh, plus x to the 5 over 5 factorial, minus x to the 7 over 7 factorial, and you get the point. It just keeps going on and on and on. Uh, so this is me just plugging in the numbers n equals 0. If I do n equals 0, then I get x. Right? This is 1. Negative 1 to the power of 0 is 1. x to the 1 over 1 factorial. That's why I have x, and then it goes on and on. If I plug in n equals 1, then I get that. n equals 2, get that, et cetera, et cetera. So, uh, I'm going to just work with this expanded form because it's going to be a heck of a lot easier to show you what happens. Uh, so we're dealing with the limit of x goes to 0 of sine x over x. This is equal to, as I said above, x minus x cubed over 3 factorial plus x to the 5 over 5 factorial and this goes on over x. And right, of course, good notation is important. Remember, you keep the limit sign. Good. So I can go through this and just divide x out of each term. So I would get the limit as x goes to 0 of 1 minus, well, it's not x cubed anymore. x cubed over x gives me x squared over 2, uh, no, it's still 3. <laughs> My bad. Over 3 factorial plus x to the 4 over 5 factorial and this continues to go on. Each term will have x, the next term will have x to the 6, then we'll have x to the 8th, x to the 10th, etc, etc. So if I were to go into here and apply x to go to 0, well I would still have my first term, it would be 1, and then this thing here would just be 0, right, because I sub an x to be 0, minus 0, plus 0, minus 0, and this just goes on for Ever. But anyway, the point is, if you add and subtract zeros, you're still just going to get back zero. So this will be one. So there, I've used power series to show that this limit is one. Let's look at one more. What if I want to find the limit as x goes to, uh, let's go zero again, why not, of e to the x minus 1 over x. So we've got, uh, and again of course you can use L'Hopital's rule and you would get the answer is 1. So the answer we're looking for is 1. But anyway, uh, so to do this with power series, you would take a look at whatever's inside uh, your limit and see what you can break down into a power series. So e to the x, you would break it down to its Maclaurin series, and you would get the sum of n equals 0 to infinity x to the n over n factorial. That's just uh, what e to the x is. This is equal to 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial plus x cubed over 3 factorial and this just goes on and on. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing as I did up there. I'm going to sub in these values. So this is equal to the limit as x goes to 0 of 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial uh, and I'm just writing these extra terms for kicks when you do it you don't have to write that many terms 3 is probably good 
minus 1 over x. All right, so let's work with the top. I have this series, minus 1. Hey, what do you know? I have a 1 in the series. So I could take the 1 and cancel it with the minus 1. And this would give me the limit as x goes to 0 of x, because the 1 is gone now, x squared over 2 factorial plus x cubed over 3 factorial, etc., over x. And I can do the same thing as before and do some dividing. And this would give me the limit as x goes to 0 of 1 plus x over 2 factorial plus x squared over 3 factorial, etc. And as you can see, well, same thing. This becomes 0, this becomes 0. So it's really just 1 plus a whole ton of zeros. So I get 1. Yep, so we can use power series to solve limits. And in this one, we just replace e to the x with the power series or the Maclaurin series uh, that we know. And we're able to cancel things out and then get an answer. Same thing with this one above. You take sine x, you replace it with the power series or, again, the Maclaurin series. And you're able to cancel x out of these things here. And you're able to get the answer that we expect. All right, so that's how you do limits using power series. I will do one more that is difficult, and hopefully you'll get the hang of it by then. Cool. See you later.